the shaft. The shop. You could sing some airs, just a little piece, a medley. <laughs> We're not moving your ears by chance, no. It's dividem, dividem, dividem. Hey, I bring music to make you dance, yes. Famanapi, 2015 Carnival, my house. Yes, that's one of my contributions, uh, 2015 Carnival. Along with um, Lucy, I'm not gonna sing it because I feel like that type of way. I could only sing it in my studio because you know, Lucy, everybody know Lucy, that woman thing, you know what I mean? So for not me to. Really <laughs> you know, it's Destra, you know, that Destra singer song, you know. But I heard Lucy, you know, then I had the, the loner. I'm just a loner for the carnival. I'm just a whiner, whining on all them gal. Don't tell me I can't play mass. Do not tell me I can't play mass. Don't tell me I can't play mass. That was lyrical, 2015 carnival again. You know, we got. Chucky, don't take it on. We had, if you see me ducking, though I'm a boss to see, but I'm ducking. You know? So, songs like that, you know, for 2015, we wrote, and basically, that was this year. Granny, you know? We had Nikki Cosby, Granny. And Chucky, as I said, take it on. So, basically, that was one, that was my main contribution for 2015. You know, and I've been writing for 17 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long journey. Some good, some bad. Most of the of the vibes is good, cause I bring a light vibes to my song. Then you know, because I believe in peace. I believe in we should live together as one. I believe in all these things. So I am a across the board writer. I basically write for everyone, and those who I write for yet, they will soon be coming to my organization, Shabbat Entertainment, because. And it's, it's just my brand, it's just what I give, you know what I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best, I'm the best at what I do, because it's my brand, right? I created my brand and developed it over years, 17 years now, I'm celebrating, actually I'm celebrating that carnival coming, celebrating 17 years of my writing. Uh, my journey has been long, I've wrote a lot of songs um, in my past. Songs like Cool It Down for Desha. Um, songs like Welcome Me Back, you know, when she just came back from, you know, Baby and stuff like that. I wrote a um, song for Marsha Montano, Hard Walk on the Avenue. Come, let me lie, him, lie, him, let me lie him on the corner, you know what I mean? And a lot of songs, you know, for a lot of, of, of artists. I mean, still be working with them or, you know, it's new artists when they're on board. My longest, I would say my longest client to date. Right, um, it's Destra, right? Because actually, the full song I ever written to get into the industry and was get, get established and noticed was When you ride, I'm a saddle and I hope you can handle the ride. I want to take a little boy and a chamber and say, I don't fall off at the side, you know, saddled by Destra, you know what I mean? And that was a long time now, <laughs> you know. How that happened? Basically, I came from the, the rituals camp, all the rituals label. With you know the three canals and the whether it's the stars, King Dread, Fate, you know, Shaft, Black Lyrics, a lot, you know, a lot of uh, rap soul movement um, artists, you know, and I and I am proud to say I grew up in ground as a and came in this industry as a rap soul artist and still a rap soul man, right? I'm not into the artistry in terms of me performing and stuff like that anymore. But I took a new road and that road was because which was, was no longer and you know the company you know when they separate we and I had no camp or no home you know so I decided I have to stay in this music because this is my life it's been my life from even since going primary school I've known my I remember or even getting my parents to, t to tell me you know how I used to be growing up you know and it's always been a part of me so I need to continue so I knocked on some doors some doors remain closed I knocked on one or two other doors, we made clothes, and then I knocked on Destra door. And Destra gave me a hearing. And she said, all right, who is this, who is this little boy here? I'm all right, you know, with that song. You know, we don't know what Sharp, who is Sharp. And back then, it was the man called Sharp. So now they go, let's call me Sharp. They said, I'll type you. Okay. So anyway, so I approached her with the song. And she said, yeah. She vibes it, she like it. She was in an iffy. But at the end of the day, she put herself in it. And that's what I always encourage artists. So even when I write a song for you, 
it's not it's not only on you know to just sing it how I how I how I um, see it or how I demo it, but also to put it in your own way. You know, if you are Destra, then you just have her own brand, so you put Destra brand and Shaf brand together, and you can create a hit. You know, um, so that was sadly that was the first song ever, and then after that, you know what I mean, I started. Milk my way into the industry and sort of roll along and knock on some studio doors and beg. Yes, I'm saying it. Had to beg. Had to, you know, some, some people wouldn't give me a chance. But at the end of the day, with my determination and ambition, you know, I I break that truth. And then Marshall Mantano, I met him and his mom and that whole family. And they kind of grew me, basically. And, you know, moms wants to tell me about the business. And then Marshall Mantano and mom, you know, tell me what. How the music businesses and used to kind of help me out. So then I would hard work. Where they go now? Walk, walk. Where they were hard work. You know, for Marshall and then that was the the entry into our relationship. I know we became real good friends. We cool. You know what I mean? And keep on writing on the avenue. All our no behavior. You know what I mean? And we have been working out while. And um, I believe that next year, please, boy, will be a fruitful year. I think because I've said it for 17 years. I think we we will join forces again, you know, especially with Angela Hunt also, that new on the team. So I'm a people person, I work with everyone, and as I said, those who I work with yet, because it's not the right time, and God hasn't aligned it yet, so it will align itself. But a lot of big artists out there who I never thought I would have written for, I'm writing for now. My brand, basically, I have developed over the years, as my specific song, I have a song. Like when you when you hear an artist sing a, a, a song from a writer, you will immediately know Shaft Rider. And those who haven't catch on yet, they will know. You know, and that's why I have to continue getting the brand and formulating it and making sure that I have the correct song. You know, and it's just a development. You, know, you never get perfect. You will always, you know, try. Just like how Coca Cola will always develop their brand. You know, they always renew. And you can always know whether you have a Coca-Cola bottle, you know? You can't pass Coca-Cola bottle. And I'm not doing any free advertising. Sorry. But I'm just using that as an example. But anyway, so that's like Coca-Cola bottle. I have to keep developing my brand, keep developing my look. But in this case, it's a song, right? So that's what I mean when I say brand. Well, it's easy. Light vibes, no heaviness. I've been saying it for years. Light vibes, no heaviness. Let me break it down. You see, in this life, right, whatever you put out is what you're going to get back, yeah? And you know, also go to karma and all these things that, that evolve around that. But I just believe in working, living my life, dealing with my family, my friends, associates, everyone, with our life vibes. No heaviness. As soon as heaviness comes, there's problems and there's chaos. And I really don't like that kind of mood, you know? Shaf is a serious-minded, very disciplined, respectable person who tries sometimes fall also but picks up himself very quickly and learn from his lessons that's who Shaf is very person who loves his music and music is like a counselor to me meaning that I use music to get you know sometimes get problems off and it's and it's really it's really you know it's great that I'm saying it because I know there's a lot of youths younger than me, younger than you, that may use something to get over depression and get over, you know, stuff like that. You know, we, we, we human, we go through feelings, we go through good times, bad times. So basically music for me is like a counselor. You know, I use that and I be happy, I get back happy, and I'm in a zone and I forget about my problems. So that's what, that's who Shaf is, you know. Love my music to death and respect it. I respect my music to the fullest. You know, don't use my music to gain anything that is not of God, basically. Um, best time is when, well, I have two best times. When my two kids was born, yeah, my daughter and my son. And you have a boy and girl. A boy and girl. Nice. See that? Yeah, done day. That was the best times of my life, right? When seeing them born and growing up, you know, as a baby, you know, both of them. How old are Two and nine, you know? Yeah, two and nine, two and nine. I love my kids to that, you know what I mean? Any day, it's my music, my kids, my music, my kids. That's my focus. There's nothing to manage. Everybody's very professional and everybody knows exactly what their role and function is. 
in my company and we, we have several meetings all over it right we have meetings and we, we we're getting close as a family so it's more like a family that i'm trying to build you know i'm not trying to to build an apple company but i would like to be very laid back and cool with my company and people who i trust so that they can handle and execute everything that we have our vision for and moving forward so i'm very comfortable and excellent with my small team Child was wonderful oh gosh what do you mean balloon fight and thing hey balloon fight in rock best street crap balloon fight and you know yeah i'll feel like because i was hard you know growing up and i used to listen um but yeah growing up for me was yeah mango tree growing up for me was mango tree and eating mango i want a dozen mango up on the tree and you're just talking up like yeah in a hammock um growing up for me was <laughs> was marble pitch and thing growing up for me was that and i think i had a wonderful family you know growing up and still have a wonderful family now a mother and father yes yes mother and father still alive still close to them of course of course more close to them now <laughs> now you can be close to them yeah no but um yeah but i believe i i i feel and i know the support is there for my family you know my father especially and my mother my brothers you know, my aunts uncles cousins and they believe in because i've been like this all my life going to school they know that hey jason gonna be something in music all right leave him now you know i grew up with my father so you know he did an excellent job as a father to instill certain things and qualities and values in me and i grew up and knowing those values and then i was in the army that's an exciter for me that i really want to touch on but i was a soldier and that training also enhanced the discipline and everything so yeah so basically now you know it's all father mother it's just that's love right true right of course it was that's cool biggest breakthrough in my life i would say my biggest breakthrough is when Omari Ashby took me when I was in rituals camp and said, come and see that you're interested, come and learn how to do this thing. And I started to go and learn under Omari Ashby, King Dread, from King Dread production. And I did on my first production was the Bling Bling Rhythm. You can probably look it up on the rituals album, not she donkey years ago. And I stick under him. I even went and moved in because I didn't have passage to come to, to Port of Spain because I grew up in Crip. Yeah? And I basically lived by Omari. He took me in. He said, hey, that was next bedroom there. Hold that. He's my little brother. Cool. I'm helping you out. And that was it. I went through my, my tribulations. I went through, and as I say, the paid Jews. You know what I mean? A lot of um, artists and stuff, and even other writers. and you know, in the comp in this industry, do you understand, you know what I mean? That you had to go through a certain period, you know what I mean? And you don't have to all the time. It's cool, you can come out one year and have a mega hit. But it's not about that, but it's about when it's about me, you can't look at one person and say, hey, and be hating on them because they find hey, every year I have a hit. No, I went through tribulations to reach to this moment. That I can be here even on OMG, you know what I mean? And it, and still, I have plenty food at all. I tell the Bangladesh National Newspaper the other day if I interview. I have 17 years now, and I'm gonna have the next 17 years. And after that, we want me and God to decide what we gonna do. But I'm not giving up because this isn't me. This is a dream, right? And for me, it's more deeper than that. And as I said earlier on, it's that counselor. Music for me, that counselor, and it's still a counselor. Right? When I feel depressed, when I feel sad, I feel down, what well, have? Music. You know what I mean? Music always there. You know what I mean? Don't go away. So yeah, biggest lesson I've learned in life is two things. Everything that comes in sheep clothing is not necessarily sheep. And never job, judge a book by its cover. That's my lessons I've learned in life. And that two, them two quotes is very close to me, you know. And as I say, you stumble sometimes, you fall. But I know now when the sheep them come, how to make sure if it's a sore on skin, <laughs> you know, or if it's you know. At the end of the day, you know, never judge. <laughs> anyway, 
that was the question. That was the answer. You know what I mean? If it's a good vibes, light vibes, no heaviness. You know what I mean? And that's what we're going with. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think every time. You live in your passion. I live in my passion. I, that is it. I live in my passion. And I'm still going to be living it, as I say, the next 17 years and beyond. Because this is all I know. I have mixed concrete, you know. I have mixed concrete. Yes, me. I mixed concrete and thing. I did that. But it was all part of the process. Because you know when you know, growing, you don't make anything really credentially that you could use to go in the market. But, you know, you had to go and do something else. Do something else somewhat. Still stick to your passion. Until you could reach where you could, you know what, just stand up with your two feet on music alone. And thank God, that's where I am now. And that's, I needed to be like that for the longest while. But I couldn't afford it. Yeah, I have family to mind. Yeah, but now, God has given me full authority over my thing. Over, and he will be overseeing it, but he gave me full authority to say, you know what, you're not going to do nothing else besides music. I, 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 I wouldn't say there's not a brother, there is a brother and a sister, but there is different facilities. So can like a college. Yeah, you have different cliques, facilities. So it's up to you if you want to fall into that facility or you want to fall in that facility. There's nothing to do with no love, however. Have love, but as I say, everybody have their, their dome to go in, right? And I really actually choose to stay in there. As a, you know, a great friend of mine and you know, a lawyer friend, he said, you know, always be, always be where, you know, you can always look, look left, right, you know. <laughs> you know, so I stand in the middle. I didn't want to go in any dome. I create my own dome where I would love it and oversee all the domes, you know. And your door open. And my door open for everyone. Anyone, and they just happen, everybody just come at me. As I said, those who ain't come here, it will come. You know what I mean? And not because I'm the greatest writer, because I'm the best writer. It's just because I have a brand, I have something to offer, I have me to offer, and I have my passion to offer. How you make them feel? Yeah. And not only them, I extend it to their fans. You know what I mean? When you sing songs like um, My House, and songs like um, David Rudder and Kess, I think it was 2012, if I can remember. Yeah, the song when they sing Live Your Life Like a Plain Mask. Live your life like you're playing mass together, grinding together. You know, that song is, is, is the truth. I have passion when I write. It's all about passion, it's all about feeling. Uh, when you live your life like you're playing mass, in that song with the, the brother and Kess, I was just simply asking that we all live like you're playing mass. Because in mass and you're playing mass, we, we grind it together, you're strange, right? because you don't talk to you. When you vex down the road, you want to thief your money down two years ago. You know, you don't talk to nobody because you know you're in the bank and you're working and you can't just say I got absolutely without a customer. But that same customer you're lying with and winding with on the road. So you live your life now in happiness in carnival. We could be cool and together as one unity. But why after can carnival done, you're going back to snuggish and you wanna to talk to me and take the morning. And you know, it's just it's just it's real. And I'm think I think my brand, what my, my brand or part of my brand is being real. Bringing it real to you. My regret is, really, in this life, that I wish I did seek. Seek is the true answer to, from God with my music when I should have. And it's not too late, meaning that I didn't have, I didn't, wasn't close to the Almighty Father as long, like, you know, if, if I was 15 years old, I take heed and say, you know what, God. We have here as part of my music, but I never used to seek him out. You know what I mean? So I used to just coming up. You know, China is kiffling, but as I get mature, they start to put God in front. And you say, you know what, God, every time you say, I say I pray now, before I write. Oh, I'm afraid of? Huh, going in jail. I can't take going in jail at all. I feel like going in jail. Get the truth. Well, I didn't thought, I didn't thought I would have about six or seven artists in Soka Mula competition finals, Destra, Famanapi, Father Fox, Chucky, Granny. Yeah, and I believe it was said to me from the great ones, you know, who know, that I'm the first writer to ever had so much 
artist competing against yourself in one competition in Sokamon. Since Sokamon has been in existence and even before that, we have our competitions. So I feel proud and that was a OMG. Oh my God, you see us? <laughs>